take me out for some hot dogs. Get your kicks on Route 66. Okay, I'm back in Oklahoma. Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. And I've been told by so many people, gotta go to Tulsa. And when you go to Tulsa, you have to go to Coney Islander. Now, this isn't the original Coney Islander, but it's the one that's open. So I'm going to just Tulsa Coney Islander, and there's several around the Tulsa area. But they've been here since 1926. And they have not changed a value. Well, did they change a bit? I don't know, but we're here at Coney Islander, Tulsa, Oklahoma. And we're gonna hear, see if these hot dogs are as good as you told me. Because you told me to go there, and now I'm here. Let's go. These are the hot dogs you recommended to me. Coney Islander. It may not be the original, but they said they haven't changed the one bite. This bun does not look good. <laughs> it was warm in the steamy tray, but it looks like it's stale. This hot dog looks puny. The bun to dog ratio is not great. <laughs> color is decent enough. It's grilled. <laughs> Let's see. Snap. This is pedestrian. <laughs> and this is the place you recommended to me? All right, let's see what the cheese and Coney, the, the chili and cheese tastes like. A little bit of uh, lacking symmetry here. Well, I know it's not the original, but I assume they're all the same. This was the Daniel Vogelback of hot dogs. To all the people who you told me Coney Islander in Tulsa was the ultimate hot dog, you need to come and check out hot dogs in this country. There's so much better hot dogs than this. Those hot dogs were feeble. I know this isn't the original Coney Islander, but if they carry the Coney Island name and the Coney Island brand, they all must be the same. Those hot dogs were horrible. And that chili has a funky aftertaste, which I'm still tasting, and it's not good. This place was not good. Hopefully your recommendations in the future are much, much, much better than this one. So DM me email me, whatever. Give me these recommendations. This place sucked. Hopefully the next place I go is much better. And uh, see you down the road. Keep raw dogging and hasn't changed a bite. Has this place been around for almost 100 years? Good God, Tulsa. Raise your standards. <laughs> Another small business bites the dust. 
Take me out for some hot dogs. Get me one that's only plain. No mustard or her ketchup. I'll know what the dog is really about. And it's hope that this is a good one. Maybe a home run or a double. But if it sucks, it will be a strikeout and not worthy of my taste buds. <laughs>